Colors can tell a story, create moods, and make a statement. In my opinion, having a nice color palette is one of the keys to having lovely wedding photos. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Janet. This is where I talk about silk flowers and weddings. In this video, I will show you how to create a Pinterest worthy color palette from start to finish. I will also share with you a few things that you need to consider when picking your colors. So even if visual arts was never your strong suit, you can build your color palette with confidence. Without further ado, let's get started. There are no set rules for how many colors you should have in your color palettes. I would say having three colors would be a great starting point to help set the mood. When picking colors for your wedding, the easiest way is to start with your favorite color and your partners. The day will be a celebration of your love, so why not? Say your favorite color is pink and your partner's favorite is blue. But there are more than 50 shades of pinks and blues, so how do we know which shade of pink and which shade of blue that we are talking about? To help visualize things, I found a website called Coolers super helpful. I'm not sponsored by them and it's completely free to sign up. Let me show you how to use Coolers to get our color palettes done. Okay, so this is Coolers. Um, once you got there, sign up for an account by clicking the button at the top right corner. You just fill your name, your email address, make up a password. It's super easy and you get your account for free, completely free. I already have my account set up, so I'll just sign in. Once you've signed in, you need to go to the top right corner and click on Generate and then you'll get this. Let's start with three colors first. So hold on to the X to remove a couple of the colors. Then click on the number and you can see there's a number which is the hex code of the color here but we don't need this for now let's click on the arrow and pick picker here you can use the slider to help pick the color you have in mind that's how you pick a color but i already know the hex code of my favorite colors so i can just pick hex and input the code here Once you have found your favorite color, you need to click on the lock icon to lock it in. And repeat for your partner's favorite in the next segment. Here comes the fun part. When I hit the space bar on my keyboard, the color on the right will change. You can keep hitting the space bar until you have landed on a shade that you like or close to what you like. So I've been experimenting with the space bar and coolers gave me this lavender blue here. I find it quite nice, but maybe it will look nicer with a darker shade. So we can click on the fill shades icon and choose a lighter or darker shade of the color that coolers has generated for us. Okay, I think I will settle with blue bell. So I will lock it in and I can click on this drag icon to change the position of the colors and see how they sit against each other. As you can see, the contrast here is quite sharp. I would like to throw in a couple more colors to soften the palette a bit. You can always throw in lighter or darker shades of the color that you have already picked to broaden the palette. And don't forget neutral colors or colors too. So I can hold for my mouse in between two colors and you see this plus icon here. So click on it to add a color. Ooh, this is quite nice. Once you're happy with your palette, you can save it by clicking here, save palette. And you can give it a name and save. 
and you can find it here there's three lines here and you can see it's here and all the other palettes that I've saved you can spend some time playing with this generator to come up with palettes that you like that's the basic of building a color palette but how do we make it work for your wedding let's put this palette on coolers on hold and talk about some other important things that you need to consider to perfect your palette First, think about what style you want to go for. Is it formal, modern or rustic? Do you want an elegant, sophisticated look that will make you and your guests feel like royals? Or do you want a colourful celebration that will make your guests feel like they are at a carnival? If you plan on having a traditional church wedding, you may want to choose a colour that is more neutral and conservative, like white or ivory. If you want something with more pop and excitement for a ranch wedding, then choosing a bold color like red or orange will be better suited for you. Secondly, the venues which you're interested in or available to you may also limit the styles that you could do. It will be difficult to rock the shabby chic or boho themes in a Rococo style banquet hall or the royal theme in a barn. Even if you put gold and glitter in an IKEA, it will still be pretty hard for you to feel like a princess. If it's outdoor, don't forget to include colors of the nature. Will the leaves be yellow? Will it be snowy? If it's a beach wedding, it will be sandy, right? These colors in the background will have a major impact on how your wedding photos would look like in the end. This is how coolers come in handy. We can use it to help us see if our color palettes work in a certain background. Let's jump back in coolers. Now we are back in coolers. You need to go to the top right hand corner to click on more and you will find this pick palette from photo click on it and click on this browse and image button to upload a photo of your venue once the photo is loaded move the circles on the photo to find the color palette of the photo so i'll have this muddy khaki kind of color and let's move on to the second one the sky blue and once you're happy with the palette you can click on the little arrow here to save the palette okay if you have multiple photos of the venue say there are a few backdrops or feature walls that you like you can repeat and create multiple palettes now we have the color palette of the venue we need to go back to generate okay now we are back to generate let's go find your saved palettes which is here and you need to find the palettes that you have created earlier with your favorite colors click on these three lines and find the, the palette with your favorite color so click on it and boom then you need to click on the palette which you have created with your venue photo and click on the three dots here and choose view palette now click on the colors that look very different from your favorites and copy the hex code let's close this for now and add them alongside your favorites click on the number press ctrl v on the keyboard or i can right click and paste and i paste the hex code of the color in there so i've add one color here and i will do it over and over again to finish adding all the colors that i've got from the venue photo so i've got four colors from the seaside photo and they're all here now so let's close this menu next i will drag the colors in the palette to see if they work nicely together
chances are some colors may look off. While well, you can tweak them slightly manually by choosing lighter or darker shades by using this shade icon here. Or you can choose a different color by using the picker tool. Or you can lock in your favorite colors and the venue colors and let coolers start the hard work for you. Say I'm pretty happy with these colors now. It's my wedding color palette. We can save the palette. We don't need these venue colors now, so let's remove them. So save the palette. And you can export your color palette for communicating with your bridal party, your florist. So you can press on the export button here. Say you want to WhatsApp your florist, you can choose image. You can also label the colors, but then I would leave it for now. Export it. That's how it would look like with the hex code number here. And you can also copy the URL and just send it to somebody, which is pretty handy too. Ta da! So, this process should help you to get a color palette that works in your venue. Remember, you can always try with multiple photos from your venue. Take some time to experiment on colors, keep hitting the space bar, and have fun. You may ask, how about trends? It is easy to fall for trending colors and themes. Sadly, trends come and go. Have you ever felt embarrassed when you have to show someone photos of yourselves from your college years? Having trending colors and decor in your wedding may help you look and feel modern at the time, but it could look really tacky in a few years' time. If you plan to have your wedding photos on display in your home, think twice before you write on a trend. I could remember there were brides going heads over heels for the Beauty and the Beast theme a few years back then. I really hope they did not regret getting that yellow gown. Staying true to your personal style and what you love is more important than following fashion trends because at the end of the day, it's all about you and the celebration of your love. Ask yourself if you will still enjoy being surrounded by rusty orange linens, dried flowers and pampered grass in three years time? If those were what you had picked already and your answer is no, then you probably have some thinking to do. So the basic rule of them is to choose colors that go well together while also complementing your venue's interior. Stay true to yourself to avoid regrets. If in doubt, stick to a classic palette like ivory and green. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give the like button a lovely tap for me. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.